Hey guys, uh, I'm Turtle. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a camera system in Roblox Studio. Now, there's actually two ways to make a camera system. There's what you can do in FNAF Forgotten Memories, where you can kind of click arrows to go forwards through the cameras or backwards through the cameras. Or what you can do in actual Five Nights at Freddy's, which is have a map with all the camera buttons on the map and just click camera button to go to that camera. Firstly, I'm gonna show you guys the arrow. So what I've got here is just a basic house with parts that are acting as cameras. Now, this is the front of the part. It'll come out and it'll be facing like this. That'll be, this is what the uh, camera will be seeing. To see this, just right click on it. Click the show orientation indicator and it'll show you it's forward. And I've got two other cameras one outside at the front of the house and one watching behind the house and i've also got them in a folder in the workspace and i've numbered and i've numbered them one two three so the more cameras you have the higher you want this number to go so say i had a fourth camera here i would name it four i'm just going to keep this to show you guys so firstly you just want some arrows we just go screen gui and we'll get text button left And then we'll get another one, duplicate it, and make it right. So we just have left right now. I'm going to make it text scaled. Just an arrow. This one will be the left arrow. And I'll just keep it like this. I'll keep it simple like this. Next, you're going to want a script. You will want a local script in the screen GUI. We'll just call this camera system. And what we'll want is the camera folder in the workspace, workspace.cameras. So we have all these now. Then we'll want local left button. So we'll go to script.parent.left. And we'll want the right button too. So I'm also going to add a way to start the interaction with the cameras. So we'll just have, uh, say, a proximity prompt here. But you can kind of do it however you want. We'll also, we should actually do a wait for child here just because it is the client so everything may not be loaded yet and local prox is equal to workspace wait for child part oh we'll just rename this prox oh never mind we'll just rename this proximity and then wait for child proximity prompt and then so we'll do prox dot triggered connect function we'll get this then yeah, we'll we'll disable the proc so that it's not in your face while you're checking the cameras. And we'll want the starting camera. So what we'll want to do is we need, first of all, we need the camera, local cam is equal to workspace.current camera. So this is how we get the camera of the player. And what we want to do is go camera dot camera type is equal to enum dot camera type dot there's a lot, of, um, a lot of options here, but we're gonna go with scriptable so that we can use it however we want. Then we'll go camera.cframe is equal to workspace art is equal to camera folder dot cam... I'm gonna rename these. Camera, we're just gonna do camera, camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. So not just numbers. So camera folder that camera one dot C frame. So now if you have this all set up, you should be able to hit play and hit E and your camera will change. So now we have this kind of camera. We're looking at the front of the house, but the arrows still don't do anything yet because we haven't added code for that. So let's do that real quick. We can do right button dot dot activated connect function we're also going to have a variable for current camera so when we trigger this one we're going to set the current camera equal to one and then what we're going to do is we're going to set the current camera to be uh if okay if current camera is bigger than or equal to the number of camera folder get children then current camera is equal to one 
and we're gonna do camera dot c frame is equal to camera folder find first child camera dot dot current camera dot c frame so let's test that see if it works so as you can see we're at the first one it does not work okay <laughs> we actually need an else statement here else current camera plus equals one click it and then it goes to the next one click 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 so you can see it moves to all the cameras so now what we need to do is we just we can just copy this except make it left button and we can change this to minus equals and is less than or equal to one and we want to change this to four actually no we change this to the number of camera folder get children so now if we go over here interact bang so now we can go to the left and we can go to the right. Now that's it for the first option, but we've also got another option we can use. So let's just disable this and make these invisible. I'm gonna add another local script. I'm gonna name this camera system two. And we'll need some of the same variables from here. So we'll need camera, camera folder, and probably the proximity prompt. So we'll do that. Now I also haven't showed you guys the exit, how to exit it yet, but it's simple. You would just do, say you have an exit button, you would just do camera camera type is equal to uh, custom, and then you would do camera dot camera subject is equal to dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid. And that would reset the the character, the player. So now we need some UI for the cameras. So let's do text button. So camera one. So this will be camera one. Camera one. We can do a camera two. Camera three. Camera four. Uh 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 uh. Which one? This one's camera two. Camera two. Camera three. And then camera four. So we actually need to change these as well. They need to be the exact same name as the camera that you want it to go to. So camera one, or camera one, this one, will go to the first camera. So it'll be this one. They need to be the exact same name or it will not work. Camera two would be camera three. Oh, that's four. And camera four, camera four. So we've got that done. I'm also going to make a frame for them. Put them all in the frame. I'm gonna make the frame as big as the screen and make it transparent so they're still in the same spot. Cameras, we're gonna name that cameras. And we're gonna do camera system. All right, camera system, camera folder, and local camera frame is equal to script.parent.cameras. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through button. We're going to loop through all of these cameras. So when button dot activated happens, so when any of these buttons are clicked, uh, we should also actually add marks not triggered. So we have the procs dot triggered. So this will allow us to see the first camera. Oh, there is an error here. Oh, this seems to be get children. So whenever a button is clicked, we want to find the actual camera, local camera part is equal to camera folder, find first child with the name of the button. So button dot name. So if they find the camera part, then, I'll actually add the else here first real quick. 
We're gonna warn camera. Oh, camera not found. Camera part. But if they do find the camera, then we just want to do camera dot C frame is equal to camera part dot C frame. Yeah, the AI finished it there. So this one's a little simpler. But there's just a lot of buttons. So if we go over here, we can go to camera two, we can go camera three, camera four, and we can just kind of go back and forth between any of them. Now I'll show you, you can add, you can add another camera if you'd like. So just one above here, but you'd have to rename it something different. So camera five, and then you'd have to add another button here camera five they'd have to be the same you'd have to place it down again but it should work just like that so oh hold on camera one camera two camera three camera four and camera five so they all work so this is the code for the second one or for the second option of the five nights at freddy's camera system and then this is the first one for the FNAF Forgotten Memories on Roblox. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more, again, like and subscribe. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you baby turtles in the next video. See ya!